Hi everyone and welcome back to Sister Cousins. This is Sandy here and today is a very special day. We are actually preparing for New Year's, um, which is fastly approaching. I absolutely cannot believe that this year is gone. This decade is gone, it's crazy. But anyway, I'm here today in participation with uh, Kimberly and Marilyn um, to do a collaboration, which is called the New Year's, let me make sure I get it right. It is the New Year's Bar Cart Collab 2020. And uh, Marilyn is the host. She is from Fabulous Designs on a Budget. And her co-host is Kimberly from Diva Designing on a Dime. So in this particular collab, we were to decorate our bar cart for New Year's also to share a drink. And um, I absolutely love collabs where you get to share a drink because I like to try new recipes. So today I actually have two that I wanna share in this particular um, collab, even though they only call for one. I just have to be a little bit extra here. So my first one that I'm gonna share, it's um, called a New Year's Sparkler. And with that, you need vodka, um, it's like a, an ounce of vodka, a ounce and a half of pomegranate juice. And I picked this up from Aldi. I was fully expecting to supplement and use cranberry juice because I didn't think I would find pomegranate juice that was affordable, but Aldi to the rescue. A little bit of, it actually costs for champagne. I'm using some kava instead and this is the uh freshenay i think it's what it's called it is a spanish cava and also you garnish it with raspberries so i'm gonna go ahead and make this drink afterwards i'm going to show my bar cart and then i'm going to come back with a bonus drink so make sure you watch to the end if you're interested in seeing some new recipes so we're going to start off with this sparkler this new year's sparkler here this is always the fun part to see if i can get this thing off and it's always hard for me so i usually use <laughs> this which is what i use for my seafood cracker but it works just perfectly fine i typically can't even... Ooh, there you go hi all right, so it did what it did. All right, so let's keep moving. I am using my new shaker. I'm very excited about that. It's dripping water. And as always, I'm loosely using recipes. I'm considering this an ounce. I'm sure it's more than that, but it's okay. So one ounce of the vodka. <sighs> this is hard to open too. All right, let me stop this and get that open. This is what I use to open it. It's like a pot holder, but it's made out of like rubber or whatever. I love these things. I think I got them from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. So let's see. The... Pomegranate juice is an ounce and a half. All right, and now for the champagne or kava, as is the case with me. And it calls for three and a half ounces of this. Are you all ready for New Year's? It just came around so fast. I don't know all these years as you get older, they just come and they go so quickly here. Oh, I need to put a little bit of ice in here too because I want it to be cold. All right, shake her up. have my glass here 
Ooh, it's fizzing. I should have used the strainer because I don't want to get the ice in here. It's always hard when you're on camera to get things the way that they should be done, but hey, it is what it is. That is the way it looks. It's got a little piece of the ice in it. It says celebrate. It looks nice and festive. If you want, you can take uh, some pomegranate seeds and put down in there just for some extra um, texture or whatever inside of it. But that's what it looks like. It looks like it's going to be yummy and a very, very potent for your holiday drink, which is what you want for New Year's, right? It's all about celebrating and having a good time responsibly. So let me go ahead and give this a try. Cheers. It's good. However, it's a little bit bitter. So I would put, if, if you like bitter, then that's fine. But I would probably put just a tad bit of simple sugar in it. Let me try that and see if that helps. All right, this is simple sugar. I'm just going to put it back in the shaker because no one's going to drink of this but me. So I'm going to take my raspberries out, pour it back in the shaker. I just put a little bit of the simple sugar in and shake it up and let's give it another try. all types of ice going in here. <laughs> it's all right. Here we go. Cheers again. Much better. So just a little bit of the simple sugar helped it out. Probably would be better not using a brute. Brute tends to be dry. So probably with a more sweeter champagne or sweeter sparkling wine it will be better but this might be good to your taste it's definitely a very cute little festive drink i love the way that it looks i love the garnish with the um the raspberries that's a nice little touch as well so uh oh that's my drink my little picks are not quite long enough but that's how you can serve them which is kind of cute all right enough of the drink let me go over and show you my bar cart all right, here is my New Year's bar cart 2020. Most of my items are from Dollar Tree. The little ribbon here, which are for actually for gifts, um, packaging gifts, that is from Dollar Tree. I'm using that to try to cover up my fairy lights. I have these million dollar bars that are also from the Dollar Tree and I have some coins here also from the Dollar Tree and I have that because in the new year you always wish for prosperity and so I just thought that that was a good touch so those are from Dollar Tree and then I have the mask here also from Dollar Tree and then I have an acrylic ice bucket that I picked up from Home Goods. And then I have a bottle of the, um, actually the same Kava by Fresh Freshenet, I think it's called. And it's in the holiday packaging. And then I just stuck this down in here. This was my special ornament for the year 2000 for the millennials. So since we're changing decades here, I just stuck that in there. Um, just because really so that's there um, my champagne flutes I mentioned that I have fairy lights all around that I'm trying to cover up with the bows and then I picked up these little um, flameless candles um, from Amazon so I got a box of those and then this was just something that I picked up I think at Ross or somewhere and they are champagne gummies they don't really match with anything, but I just thought it was a, a cute little touch. So that is my bar cart. 
Um, and then on the bottom, of course, I have all of my spirits, so it's not really decorated down there. But I hope that you like it. I'm kind of pleased with how it came out and so inexpensively since I was able to use so much decor from the Dollar Tree and my thrifted clock there. Um, so that is my bar card. So again, a special thanks to Kimberly and Marilyn. Their channels will be linked below. And stay tuned now for the bonus drink that I'm going to share with you. Please be sure to stop by Marilyn at Fabulous Designs on a Budget and Kimberly at Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Their links will be in the description box as well as the playlist for this collab. Keep watching to see the next bonus drink. I hope you enjoy. So I know it's not Christmas anymore, but my New Year's drink is going to be eggnog. I'm going to make some little eggnog shots. I thought that I had some bourbon, but I find that I don't. So I'm going to be using some Tennessee whiskey and I'm going to be using this little serving um, concoction. <laughs> Basically, I bought these, which I bought from all these um, a long time ago and just had never used them, but you can make different shapes. I think I have some that are sticks and then some that are just the heart shapes. So that's what I'm going to use just to put in the bottom of it just for an extra touch. And then the drink will fit right on top there so it'll stay cold until the guests arrive. So the ice is in there. It doesn't look much like hers, but it is in there. And it's going to melt anyway. So it's a cute idea. Better if you use like something with some color in it probably, but I just use water. So this is what it's looking like. For each little shot glass, I'm going to put a little bit of Ready Whip on there. And then I'm going to top with a little bit of these. Um, which is the milk chocolate English toffee bits and a little bit of nutmeg. 